Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember the energy is fluid. The roles can be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So just be aware, guys, there are people in the comments linking a WhatsApp. I don't have WhatsApp. Um, just be careful not to get scammed. And let's get right into this. Guardian angels, spirit guides, ancestors, higher beings, ascended masters, please be testimony to the light. I guess I do this reading for Gemini. Clear down these messages for Gemini. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I did see the Five of Pentacles there, so we'll see if that comes out. But, Spirit, how does this person feel about Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? Are you not talking to this person, Gemini? Are they holding back a little bit? Ace of Swords, there it is. <laughs> they want to have a conversation with you, Gemini. Um, they want to have a clear conversation, provide clarity here. I almost feel like this is going to come out of nowhere, too. Um, you know, the Aces are fresh new beginnings, and it's almost like the universe i feel like that the universe is kind of like guiding this person towards having this conversation with you they want to they want to let you know the truth about about something here um tell me more tell me about this ace of swords i feel like this person chooses their words very carefully that's what i'm getting they want to say it they need to say it like in a precise way Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Even the cards right now, like very, very particular cards need to come out right now to get this person's message across. The Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer here. They want movement forward here. Um, they want to move forward here, Gemini. You know, I always say with, with, um, okay, they're saying not those. With the, with the Chariot, Cancer energy here, um, it, it's, it's movement forward. It's, it's, but the charioteer there, you know, guides the Sphinx to whichever way they want to go. So I feel like, um, this person wants to take it slow here with you with the Knight of Pentacles there. They want to offer something solid and something long-term here. Like I, I almost am getting like they had chose the wrong direction before and now they're coming forward with truth, with clarity, um, they, they want to let you know how they're feeling. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gemini. So sorry. Um, they want to let you know the, the truth about the situation. And the truth is they want to move forward here. They want forward movement with you. They want something long-term. They want something solid. But they're also going to take it slow here with you. There's like no rush. Like I was saying, like I feel like even this person's very particular with their words, very precise. Like they, they want to do things right as well. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about this movement forward. Okay, we got the moon. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Heavy water energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me more about the chariot. I feel like there's like this, there's a little bit of like the fear of the unknown here. Not knowing what you might say back or how you feel. Yeah, the Knight of Cups here. It's like they they, they want to offer this cup of love to you. They want to come forward. They want to, you know, wine and dine you. They want to get to know you. They want to have honest, clear conversations with you. Um, but there's there's this little bit of fear. I think it's if you're going to accept this here. But they're coming forward as two knights here. Like how they feel about you. They want to offer you something solid and long term. And they want to offer their cup of love here i feel like they want to figure out like where your favorite restaurant is and then like take you there like on the regular you know and like have these have these deep conversations have these honest open conversations with you about where this could go or where this is going you know just getting to know each other too um but there is this like fear of like does does gemini feel the same 
Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon, spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Yeah, the two of swords, undecided. Like with that chariot energy, it could go either way. Like I feel like they might feel like you're undecided or maybe, you know, um, if it's been a while since the two of you have connected or, you know, there, there, there's just this fear of like, not of you, but like of how you feel. Like, do they feel the same? That's what I'm getting. And I'm, I keep seeing the, the, I'm seeing the king of cups. Like, do they feel the same about me? Do they, do they want to go in the same direction that I want to go? That's this person's fear. So let's see their actions. What's this person's actions in the immediate future towards Gemini? What is this person's actions? Ooh, Gemini, the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo here. This person wants happiness with you. They want abundance. I feel like they're going to get over that fear because, you know, the moon and the sun are it's like yin and yang, day and night too, right? I feel like they're sitting in this energy right now of, I don't know, is Gemini going to reciprocate? Should I do this? Is this the right thing to do? And then they're going to, they're just going to come forward with that Knight of Cups and they want happiness here with you. Things are being illuminated. I feel like they're waking up to this connection. They want victory here with you. They want they it's like bliss i feel i feel like the connection between the two of you it like shines bright like you like hashtag couple goals like i feel like people see you together and they're like oh like those two are cute that's the energy i feel from this and that's what this person wants with you beautiful the knight of wands coming on in passionately there you know the knight of wands can be an in and out energy though so let me clarify this tell me more about this knight of wands Definitely a lot of physical attraction here. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. This could be going back to their like indecision. Like they might be like hot and cold with you because they're like, does Gemini want the same thing that I want? Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. This person's very particular, Gemini. Their energy is like they need to have, they're very precise. Yeah, this is definitely someone from your past here, Gemini. This energy keeps coming up for a reason. This is someone from your past. They could have been hot and cold with you in the past here, Gemini. They could have given you mixed signals before, even though there's like this strong connection between the two of you and they, they like you are their happiness. I feel like um, they, they could have done this in the past before. But I feel like with this energy now, like they want to get back to this space of like, like feeling like kids again, like I like pu like this is like puppy love for me. Like I feel like it's just it's fun, it's lighthearted. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I feel like this person before they held back, they um. They they could have lied. They could have lied about how they felt. They could have lied about their situation, whatever that was. And as I said that, I see the devil. They, I feel like they could have been stuck in another situation, felt bounded to it in an unhealthy way. And I feel like that's the, the, the first card out was the Ace of Swords. They want to have a conversation with you. They want to explain things to you. And this cycle of feeling trapped and feeling like they can't be honest with you is closing out. That's what I'm feeling with this world card here. The world card is, compl is completion. It's joy. It's happiness. You know, you are their world, I'm feeling. You, they want you in their world, I'm feeling, Gemini. And they don't want to be in this, this type of energy anymore, all up in their head, not telling the truth, being dishonest with not only you, but with themselves, I'm hearing. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Cancer, or a Pisces, a Leo. Yeah, this person doesn't want to do this anymore. If these two cards had to just come out by themselves... I would have been like, yeah, this person's going to hold back. They're not, they're going to lie to you. But with the world card here, I feel like this is them closing out that cycle. Like they're, they're not doing this anymore. I feel like they could have held back from you for a long time, Gemini. And they're, they're, they're closing out that cycle here with you. 
Anything else about this person's actions in the immediate future towards Gemini? The Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. Yeah, this person's spying on you, Gemini. They're watching you. They're creeping you. They're watching your story. They're, and you know, I'm, I'm laughing. Not because it's funny, but... I get two different ener I get different energies with with the page of swords. Sometimes when the page of swords come out, I get like stalker vibes, and I'm like, it's not nice, you know, it's not a nice. But I feel like this person's just like, they're checking you out. They're if you're going, they're they're going to your Instagram page and they're scrolling all the way down. They're like so careful not to like something from like 2017 or something like that. This person wants commitment here with you. This person wants the next step here with you, whatever that is whether it's officially labeling something, having a conversation and, and officially dating, moving in together, engagement, marriage, whatever it is. This is like the halfway to marriage card. You could feel like this is a twin flame with the with the, the four wands there. I'm getting more soulmate energy, but I mean, take it as it resonates. Yeah, this person's checking you out. They're also checking you out like, is, is Gemini already, uh, you know, committed elsewhere? They want to know what your status is with this because I feel like they were stuck before in something not only in something but in their mind and they're not they're, that's not what's happening anymore hmm. let's see this in person's intentions what's this person's intentions with Gemini what is this person's intentions with Gemini spirit Gemini <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. First of all, synchronicity. There you go. Two and two. Okay. This person wants to manifest a union here with you. Yeah. I feel like this person, this person feels like you are a soulmate here with that two of cups energy. Seeing the ace of cups offering cup of love. This, but this person goes back and forth. Again, I feel like it has more to do with like, where are you at? That's why they're spying on you. That's why they're checking you out. LinkedIn even. You know, going on your LinkedIn saying like, what's Gemini up to? What's, you know, checking out your Insta story, whatever it might be. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this person is trying to manifest union here with you, but there's still this like back and forth. I'm going to pull a card on that two, that two of pentacles juggling. But yeah, they're manifesting union with you. There's, I'm talking like they dream about it. They think about it. They visualize. Meditation is so powerful for this. I'm going to link a, a meditation down below for manifesting your soulmate. It's so powerful. It's so amazing by one of my favorite people on YouTube. Anyway, um, this person is doing the same. They could be scripting. They could be, um, you know, when you talk as is, as if something already is, it doesn't matter if it's a relationship. It doesn't matter if it's a job, if it's moving somewhere, you name it. We are powerful beings. And that's what the magician reminds us of. The magician has every single tool in front of them, the pentacles, the cups, the swords, and the wands. They have everything in front of them. This is every single one of us. We are all powerful manifestors. And I feel like this person is becoming aware of that, of what they want, and they want union here with you. So they're thinking about it. They're visualizing vision boards are super powerful. Looking at your vision board every day, you got to feel the feelings of what this union would feel like. And I feel like this person's been doing that. So if you've been feeling drawn to this person, if you already know who this is, because I strongly feel like this is someone from your past, Gemini, th they're doing the same. It's not that you're just manifesting them. They're manifesting you. So, I mean, according to the laws of the universe, y'all are going to come together because it's like you have to. But let me see what this Two of Pentacles is about. What is this Two of Pentacles about for the person's intentions? I never say y'all, by the way, so I don't know if that's relevant for someone out there. Like, does anyone else say y'all? <laughs> Maybe your person does. The Seven of Wands. Okay. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. This whole reading, Gemini, this person is so particular. They're very precise. They're very... I don't mind this kind of energy because I feel like it's you can appreciate it when they say what they say they mean it do you know what I mean when they do what they do they mean it because they're they're they think about it they think it through they could be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius tell me more about this two of pentacles for this person's intentions 
We got the seven of wands here, which is like a, a defense, like a defensive energy. I feel like this person could even de be defending this connection to other people. We got um, justice and the king of cups. We could be dealing with the Libra here. I feel like this person feels very deeply about you. I already felt that before. With that King of Cups, that's kind of, you know, confirming it there. I feel like they want to come about this in a balanced way, though, with that Justice card. They're not trying to overwhelm you. And they're, they're trying to do things right. Like, that's what I just keep hearing. They're trying to do it right with the Justice. Like, they want it to be fair. They, they want it to be equal, whatever that means for you. So if you felt like for some reason this connection before was um, imbalanced, they don't want that. And I feel like they want to fight for this too. But they go back and forth between like telling you really how they feel because they feel like Gemini, what did it, what's coming across to me is they, they don't know if you're on the same page. That's why they're creeping you. That's why they're, they could have lied to you before and feel like Gemini has no reason to trust me or just lied about how they felt or lied about their situation or what, something. So they go back and forth. But what they want, they're manifesting this union here with you. They want you. You are their happiness. Tell me about the potential outcome between Gemini and this person. I'm seeing the Ten of Cups. The Page of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with the Pisces here. Yeah, this person wants to apologize for keeping you waiting here. I feel like um, if this is someone from your past that you've been you feel like you've been waiting on for quite some time, I feel like they want to apologize that they're also seeing things from a different perspective here. They find you very attractive, Gemini. They just think you carry yourself so well. There's just like this this connection, this like draw to you. It's like magnetic that they can't really explain. They they think you present yourself well. They they like when they walk around with you, they're like proud to walk around with you. Like, I feel like they know people look at you when you walk around and they're like, yeah, like that's, that's my Gemini. That's what I'm feeling. Tell me more about the potential outcome. What? Gemini? I already saw it. I don't know if you guys saw it. Yes. Yes. Your own energy here. Gemini energy. The lovers. I'm telling you, this person loves you. Oh my goodness. This is a potential outcome. I feel like there's a beautiful union here. I feel like it's... <laughs> For some of you, it's been a very long time coming. If this is someone from your past, even from childhood, you could have had past life, lives with this person, but this is love. This is true love. This, you could feel like this is your twin flame and you're finally coming together here. You both learned your lessons that you needed to learn. You know, someone was the chaser, the other person was the runner, then, then it switched and now you're coming back into union. That's how, you know, the twin flame journey works. I'll, I'll link it down below for you. But yeah, no, this is, Wow, beautiful, beautiful. And this energy, Gemini, I remember your readings and this energy is not coming out week after week for no reason, right? If you feel like you're sitting there like this, this person hasn't come forward yet. The energy keeps coming out for a reason, you know? And if you're watching these videos, you know, weekly or whatever they come out, your energy, I'm picking up on your energy. I'm picking up on your energy and your person's energy. This is happening. This is happening. This person's coming forward. They want union here with you. Like you've always been the one I'm hearing. It's always been you. It's always been you. Even if they made you feel like a choice before or that they chose someone else before Gemini, because the lovers was, was before it was the choice. It's like you, it was always you. It was always you. Temperance, could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. Balance, patience with one another. They would the compromise. You know, for me, this is running hot and cold bath water and then finding the perfect temperature. It's like, that's what they want to do with you. Look at the two angels here. Like, I feel like this is like divinely guided. This is fated. I wouldn't be surprised if the Wheel of Fortune comes out. Let's see. Tell me more about the potential outcome. I love this energy. I love this energy. Okay, the ten of... What the... That was weird. Okay, I'm going to try that again. This energy just makes me feel energized <laughs> because I feel like it's, it's like, finally, it's like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, finally, like this is, you know, if you've been dreaming about this, visualizing it with this person, Gemini, so have they. And I feel like it's finally like, you know, union time. 
Tell me more about the potential outcome. The Ten of Wands did kind of flip out there. I didn't feel like it was supposed to. I'm wondering if it will come out. We'll see. We got the Five of Swords. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was feeling. Okay. So the Ten of Wands that wanted to come out, I feel like there's some sort of burden, some sort of heaviness. And it, uh, it could be that they didn't do this sooner, Gemini. It could also be a past situation. And with this Five of Swords and yeah. So yeah. First of all, they're feeling like this this was a missed opportunity. That's why they're so strong. Like they're like manifesting union here with you. This is their intention. I also feel like not being with you has, has like if they self-sabotage this in the past where there was an opportunity to be together, but they walked away instead, walked away even towards another union, could have been a karmic. This has like weighed heavy on them. This has felt like, a, like they betrayed themselves. That's what I'm feeling. So I feel like they get in that energy sometimes where they, they, can, they can go back and they can kind of like think about it. I, I don't feel like they want to self-sabotage this again. They're like, I can't do that again. There's no way. Like, I can't lose them again. But Gemini, if you felt like you were the, especially if you were the initial, the, the initial chaser and you felt like this person ran from you and you were left feeling, you know, uh, heartbroken, you know, uh, pain, pain, this person felt it too. May, and maybe they didn't always say it. And may, the, the Ace of Swords coming out, the first, the first card there, like they want to talk about this. They want to have a conversation with you about this. This could also be a past energy here. This could also be something that ended pretty badly with someone else that they that could potentially try and sabotage this union between the two of you because they're not happy that this person moved on. You know, misery loves company. I'm seeing judgment, wanting a second chance here. Tell me, oh, okay, the emperor. So interesting because this did want to come out before. And there's the ten of wands. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to take action here. They want to move forward here, but like it, it's, first of all, this not being with you has been burdensome on them, but there's, I'm feeling this is like a past energy, weighs heavy on them. And it's not even because they're still with this person. I feel like it just, it ended real bad. Like I got to keep it real. The tens, it ended really badly, but it wasn't supposed to continue. It was, you know, if it was a karmic relationships, karmic relationships don't, necessarily last our lifetime right hopefully you learn whatever karmic lesson you're supposed to learn and then you move on and I feel like that's what this person has done but that energy who whoever on the other end of that feels like this about your person might come in and try and sabotage this and I'm talking like I don't know send you a dm that they're up to this or that or this that like just try and like be manipulative and be sneaky but the Queen of Cups, look at that. King and Queen of Love here. This is this person's intentions, the King of Cups. And now this is the potential outcome. To come together, to love one another, to understand each other's emotions with that, with that Sagittarius uh, temperance energy, to balance one each, one each other out, to compromise. This is deep love here with the lovers there too. This is deep love. Like you can't, you can't get deeper than this, you know? And if this person struggled with their emotions before in some way of like either not saying them or just not even understanding them fully about why they felt so strongly about you, Gemini, that is not the case anymore. I feel like this person's transitioning from the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups offers her cup of love. She's very in tune with her emotions. She's an empath. She can feel other people's emotions and she reciprocates. The king of love, the king of cups, sorry, has deep love, but he's not always the best with managing them. And there's no gender in tarot, right? We all have these masculine and these feminine energies. So, you know, your person who struggled with emotions could be female. But anyway, this is deep love here. And I feel like this, this outside energy could, there's the wheel. This outside energy could know that and could try and sabotage this. But I would say don't let, oh, they said one more. Don't let others influence, you know? What's good for you is good for you. If you love this person, which I strongly feel you do, and they you, very much so, it doesn't matter what other people think, 
right? It could be difficult. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say it'll all be all rainbows and butterflies the whole time. But I think it'll be rainbows and butterflies like 95% of the time with this person. That's what this feels like. This is like a divine connection. This feels amazing. This feels easy. This feels comfortable. This feels like the movies, for lack of better words, you know? There you go. Page of Wands and the Empress. This person wants a fresh start with you here. They see you as the Empress here, the divine feminine energy, abundant, prosperous. They could want, to, they could want children with you, you know, if that's relevant for you. They want it all with you. The Empress is like Tefiti from Moana. <laughs> you guys know I love that movie. The be-all, end-all, Mother Earth, right? And even if you're a male, this person just sees you as everything, sees you as there's no better. There's no better than the Empress. The Empress has 12 stars on her crown representing all the zodiacs. She's, she's a little bit of everything. Again, it's not gender specific. But that's what this person feels about you. And honestly, I feel like this, if there's a past energy lingering. They know this. They know that your person feels this way about you. And they're gonna, they could try and sabotage this out of jealousy, anger. You know, the devil ain't here, but he could be with that five of swords. But yeah, no, this person wants a fresh new start with you here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't even want to clarify that five of swords because I feel like I don't, I don't even want to get into that energy because I feel like it's, it's irrelevant. <laughs> okay, so spirit, tell me more about, um, look at that. Love. Unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selflessness. I'm telling you, Gemini, I can feel it. I can feel it running through my body right now. You are going to be so happy with this person. And the key to be happy with this person in the future, if they're not here yet, is to be happy now. Be happy right now. There's so much to be grateful for. Is the sun shining? No. Is it raining? Be Either way. <laughs> Do you have water to drink? Do you have a home? Are you able to sit on YouTube and watch this video? There's so much to be grateful for and so much happiness out there. Right. And this person's just going to you're just going to enjoy life with this person. Oh, my gosh. I love when I like these messages are just like and it's week after week, Gemini. It's like inevitable. This is faded. This is happening. This is so real. Claim this reading, Gemini. I claim this reading. I claim this reading. The person I seek is also seeking me and I remove any blockages between us. Okay. We got not enough, lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, frustrations. This could have been this person before, self-sabotaging this, like I was saying. You know, out of fear. Fear if you feel the same way. But then we got parad paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. Yes, Gemini. You're going to be very, very, very happy with this person. Grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. I love that. Let's see. I feel like there's a few more. Tell me more. What other messages do you have for Gemini here, Spirit? Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. This could be that twin flame energy here. If you feel like you're in a twin flame. Oh, that one like flipped and spun. Blowing kiss. Unconditional love. Giving and receiving. Fairness and love. Affection returned. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, Gemini. Y'all better invite me to the wedding. <laughs> Let me know down below. Sword and rose. Clarity and truth. Revelations. Honor and protection. Determination. Yeah. That's that ace of swords for me right there. This person's going to be truthful right from the get-go. Honest communication. And they're having like a, re like, a, like a revelation, I feel. Like they're realizing what this is here. What it's always been. Coffee cup, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's one more. I love this, Gemini. I love it. Key on a ring, many op options, unconventional, one night stand, string along. You could have felt like this person strung you along before. I'm also getting this is what the kind of connection they were in with someone else. So take it how it resonates. 
And then we got love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Oh, <laughs> Gemini, I'm telling you. Look at all these beautiful cards telling you this love is coming. This love is coming. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's see what we got from here. No, not there. Okay, not there. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini here? What messages do you have for Gemini, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. We got trust. Yeah. I feel like not only this person that they're telling you the truth, but also in divine timing, right? If this didn't happen before, it's happening It's happening now, very soon, when it's when it should be, like, everything's in hindsight is 2020 20, right like you'll be able to look back and be like oh okay that makes sense forgiveness mm. like i said gemini if this person like abandoned the connection before was the runner if that's relevant if you're in a twin flame forgiveness i feel like they they're also working on forgiving themselves because they they feel heavy about what they did too and then we got weight I feel like there's one more. Yeah. Meditation brings answers. Yeah. So powerful. I'm going to link that soulmate, um, that meditation down below because I feel like it's super powerful. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini here? You're very close to achieving your goal. A fiery climax approaches. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, we got balanced spirituality and practicality. For me, that's like that meditating, that scripting, visualizing. Meditate and contemplate. You got two cards of meditation here, Gemini. If it's not something you're, you're into or you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend just start with like a couple minutes a day. It literally changes your life. It literally changes your life. Emotions are running high. And have faith in your dreams. Yeah, trust. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're saying that's it. Okay, so let me get some of these. These could be the initials of you or your person. Um, the numbers that come out could be anything, numbers you've been seeing. Just take it how it resonates. We got the number three. The letter I. Q. B, P, and Z. Could be like a, your license plate. It could be a postal code. It could be anything. Just take it how it resonates. But anyways, Gemini, I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe. I love hearing from you all. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.